So what does the winner of Britain's Got Talent have to do with the power of words? Find out today at Dyslexic and Unstoppable. Hi, it's Dr. Doug Curtis. And Lucy Curtis from Dyslexic and Unstoppable. Our mission is to help dyslexics rediscover their inner power. That's right. And we recently saw a documentary about Susan Boyle, the lady who won Britain's Got Talent. Um, and it brought up one of our, well, it made reminded of us of one of our themes in, in Dyslexic and Unstoppable. Um, it really kind of was a great illustration of it. So I don't know if you want to set up the story and talk sure. about it. Well, it's something about when she was born, there was an issue. Uh, they didn't know if there was a, a lack of oxygen or something like that. And the doctors were saying that she was going to be slow to her parents. And then their parents uh, transferred that information to her siblings. And then their siblings, you know, it went on and on and on and until she was bullied in school. Mm -hmm. She even felt that she was slow. And it affected her self-esteem and it changed the course of her life, mm -hmm. right? Regardless of what happened or not, um, Looking back, you know, if, if she wouldn't have been in that same environment, what would she have done differently in her mm -hmm. life, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and then it, it took all this time to rebuild her self-esteem, Yeah. you know, and it, it doesn't, to me, it reminds me how somebody's word can change somebody's life. Yeah, yeah, the power of words, right? Um, and I think it, it, it shows a couple things. First of all, um, how people in authority, so the first people that said anything were the doctors, right? Um, they made a, uh, they pronounced her and said, you know, she's going to have brain issues, right? Right from the beginning. That influenced her parents, which influenced uh, the siblings, right? The other thing I think is interesting, and it, it reminds me of when we were filming our um, documentary for um, uh, Dyslexic and Unstoppable, The Power of Words, and we were talking to, you know, people who are famous, people who are um, very successful, Emmy Award winning producers and, and the like, and um, bring them back to that situation and they're really in it, they feel the emotion still, it's still affecting them. And it was the same thing with her, right? She would discuss how, how she was made to feel, how everything, and you know, she's now sold uh, hundreds of millions of records, whatever, she's, you know, worth who knows how much money. And yet, that self-esteem is still there. That that those yeah. words are still there. So, um, anyway, just a reminder um, to us parents to not take everything that are, is said. Right. That's the law. That's right. what it is. You know, question things, and and even if there is an issue, how to make it a positive? For me, right. that's a big thing. Right. Like dyslexia. Yeah, well, I have dyslexia. Our son has dyslexia, but. How can you turn it? What is the positive side of dyslexia? Mm -hmm. And make that a positive thing, not focus on something, oh, that's it, you're you're never gonna be able to do this, you can't right. do that. No, you'll be able to do this. Right. So let's focus on that. You right. know? Exactly. Exactly. So we'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, leave us a comment below and visit us at Dyslexic and Unstoppable. <laughs>